Sometimes reconciliation doesn't always work out. Sometimes it takes a lot more work than you think it might. Sometimes it's one step forward and two steps back. In Vancouver, British Columbia, a group of First Nations is working to build housing on their land called Jericho Lands. This partnership is a development formed by Squamish, Musqueam, and the Sliel Waltoth First Nations. And some of these buildings might be, in this conceptual drawing, up to 38 stories tall. Now, this is traditional First Nations territory. But what's happened over the last hundred and whatever years, because of colonialism, is Vancouver was built on this traditional territory of these First Nations. This article refers to these three First Nations who have been stewards of the land for thousands of years. Now there's a group of residents there, Vancouver residents, non-native, I would assume, who think that this plan goes too far. These buildings are too big. They don't want the towers to block the views. So these people who live on stolen land don't want the people whose land it is, they don't want them to build on their own land because it might block the colonizer's view from their West Vancouver properties. It's a well-to-do neighborhood, Point Grey. It's not a low economic value area. This article refers to reconciliation as one of the objectives. So here's an example of where reconciliation in the form of traditional worldviews, in this, <laughs> in this case, literal views of the ocean from traditional territory, being reconciled with industrial progress in the form of concrete buildings being made, and the ideologies of a privileged few who want to have their voice heard even though they live on stolen land.